Hello, this is Bino. Welcome to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. Today what I have planned to do is a little bit ago we did a video on the trucker hitch and how to fell with it. So you'd first want to make yourself a running bowling. What you're going to do is go around this tree and this tree would act somewhat like a pulley. Now you're going to put your rope over the line. You'll set it down and then you're going to grab this part of the line. You're going to give it more tension and you're going to pull it and as he's making his cut, you'll pull it all the way down. Um, so at work with a couple of my guys, we practice it. So what I want to show you is a video and, and explain what's happening as we're doing it. All right, let's get to it. So we're getting ready to set the, the video up. It was kind of crummy. When I first started it this morning, my smaller saw that I was going to use, when I went to start it, the cord popped out. So I ended up using this MSN, um, MS880 still. It was kind of overkill for this size of a tree. So what I'm doing here is just getting the face cut and we're aiming it toward an oak we're going to use to um, use that trucker's hitch system. So just, just a regular conventional um, notch cut is what I'm going to do here. Yeah, this saw was pretty powerful. I've only used it a handful of times. It's fairly new and I ended up putting a smaller bar on it. I have a little bit of a, on this notch, I have a little bit of a, um, a bypass cut, so I'm trying to clean it up a little so um, it it, you, it hinges well. All right, and I noticed that this bar made the the nose the further away from me. It kind of tilted downward, so my my hinge wasn't the best. So right here, what this is Jimmy. He's one of my my crew members. What he's doing is he's setting up the the rope around the tree here this first half wrap around the tree it's going to act like a pulley um, but there's some friction so it's not as smooth working as a pulley would be and the other part where we're setting up here when we get to the end of the rope you know we walk back toward the lipo pine and now at this point he's getting ready to make the trucker's hitch and that loop in the line so he, he gets this bite set when he gets this bite set now that little loop right there will act as another pulley, secondary pulley. So he made a loop in the line, now he's putting the bite in there, and now he's getting the trucker's hitch set up. Now he wants to get all the tension out of the line, or, or the slack out of the line and put tension in it by walking back toward the tree, pulling the slack out. And you can see that now it's getting pretty tense. So over by the tree there, that's the first pulley and the trucker hitch itself would be like a second pulley. So now we've already figured out what we're going to do. I'll go back over to the tree here and I'm going to make the back cut. Now right here you can see that there's a lean that's going to the left of the screen so that's a side lean. But there's also a lean that's going backwards away toward the, the light pole in the background. And then if you notice up on the right hand side, there's a limb. Now that limb has more weight and it would be something that could push it back toward the opposite direction. The majority of the, the lean is to the side, but having that limb going the op back direction, um, it'll be a good example of um, what you can do with a trucker's hitch, pulling it in the direction that you want. So getting ready and getting over to the tree and I'll get the saw there. Now Jimmy has it more tense. He's putting more um, tension on it. There we go. See it just works guys. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, this saw is really powerful and with a smaller bar, it digs in pretty quick. So um, I was finding that I had to hold back a little and not just let it um, dig in because it was uh, slowing down on me. So as I'm cutting here, a little bit into it, when I'm getting close to the end, I want to I leave enough hinge where it's not going to pop off. And then the trick is not to cut through your hinge. So as I was cutting, I was, I was noticing that there was uh, a little bit of movement. Jimmy had already started pulling. I wasn't really ready for him to start pulling, but he started it. We stopped and then we started again. And now he was just um, holding it steady. Now here I'm going to go back to the cut. And here we go. Now it gets moving. And I start nodding my head. Now it's ready for him to start pulling. There he goes. A little bit more. All right. Now it's time for me to get out of the way. He starts pulling. And it definitely goes in the direction we were hoping it to go. So definitely it was a, it was a nice uh, practice run. We had really nothing in the way. Um, if it fell the opposite direction, we wouldn't harm anything, or if it popped the opposite side, it would have been okay. So, I mean, it was a good way to practice. One guy pulling a tree this size over, you know, it was a nice practice run. Um, they got to see what it can do, and it was fun while we did it. So, there you go. That was um, my crew and I practicing the trucker hitch in a felling situation. So, originally, we just did it as a one of our, our Friday morning safety trainings was talking about the trucker's hitch and then um, we showed him the video on the trucker's hitch. So we figured it would be nice to do it out in the field. Um, ended up having this Aleppo pine that was really close to dying and it had a lean and it also had that oak that was next to it. So that was a great scenario to give this a practice. Like I said, it was practice, so it was good because we had nothing that would um, be harmed if anything went the wrong way. Great situation to try it out. The guys got to see what a trucker's hitch could do. And everything worked out as planned, and we had a good time doing it. It was fun when you get to train on something that you, you know, talked about, and then you get to practice it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. Take care. We'll see you next time.